everyone, it's Julianne here for Honey Me Stamps and welcome back. I have definitely been in a little bit of a crafty funk lately. So for this week, I went back to what I enjoy the most, which is creating scene cards. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how I created this belated birthday scene using a bunch of different stamps and dies that Honey Bee offers. The supplies I'm gonna be using today include the Hang In There stamp set, the Bad Influence stamp, the Blah Hum Bunny stamp set, the piece of cake stamp set, sweet treats, as well as the blah 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 sentiment stamp set. And then finally, I'm gonna be using the double stitch square honey cuts. So let's get started. So when it comes to creating any type of scene card, the first step is definitely deciding on the placement of all of your images. So what I like to do is I just stamp them all onto a scrap sheet of paper, like the one that I just showed you here. And that helps me in determining where I want everything to go in my card. This step is definitely very important because you also need to know which images you want to look as though they're in the front of your scene versus the ones that you want to look as though they're behind. For my card, I knew that I wanted to definitely use the cute little bunny from the Hang In There stamp set. I've been wanting to use him for quite some time. And I wanted to combine him with the other bunnies in the Blah Hum Bunny stamp set. Now, since the bunny in the Hang In There stamp is much larger than the other ones, I knew that I needed to have him closer in the front since objects would look bigger in the front versus the ones that would be behind them. But I didn't just want that bunny out there in the front all by himself, so I decided to stamp a few of the candy pieces as well as a cupcake to look as though they were in front of my bunny. Now once I have those first couple images all stamped out, I'm then going to make sure that I mask them off before stamping any of my other images. Now before I stamp the bunny from the Hang In There stamp set, I wanted to make it look as though he was actually sitting down holding that sign. So what I did for that is I just placed his mask down onto my background panel and I'm going to use a bunny from the Hum Bunny stamp set to stamp his feet. So I'm just gonna line up the image, making sure that his body lines up and then I'm gonna stamp those feet down. Now, once I have those all stamped out, I'm then going to remove my mask and continue stamping my bunny. Now, it was definitely at this point that I realized I had made a mistake. I needed for my bunny to be stamped before my cupcake, so that way you could see his right hand that is holding up that sign. So you will see here in a second that I did go back and re-stamp those first couple of images, as well as I did add an additional piece of candy in front of that cupcake, but I did the same stamping and masking process as I did before. Next, I'm gonna be stamping that cute little pig from the Bad Influence stamp set. And I'm gonna be stamping him off to the left-hand side of my card where he's gonna be surrounded with all of those sweet treats. Once I have him stamped, I'm then gonna mask him off and I'm gonna finish up stamping my last couple of images in order to finish my scene. I'm gonna start out by stamping the additional bunny from the Blah Hum Bunny stamp set. And I'm gonna be stamping him in the center of my other bunny as well as that cupcake. This is the same bunny that I used earlier to stamp the feet, but since he's in the back of my scene, you won't be able to see his feet, so you won't be able to tell. And finally, once I have him all masked off, I'm then gonna be stamping my last image, which is gonna be my second cupcake. Once I have finished all of my stamping and masking, the next step is actually my favorite part about scene building, and that's when I finally get to peel back all of my masks in order to reveal the scene that I've created. Now, while you're creating your scene, it's definitely gonna look like a hot mess with all of your masks and stamping lines, but trust me, it's definitely worth it. Next, I'm gonna start working on coloring in each of my images. Now I did want my video for today to be really about how to create a scene card. So I am just gonna be showing you just a little bit of my coloring, but I'm gonna be doing most of it off camera. I'm gonna be starting out by coloring in my front bunny. And for that, I'm gonna be using my favorite warm gray color combination, which is W2, W3, W5, W6, and finally W7. I am gonna be doing my preferred way of coloring today, which I'm gonna be starting out with my lightest shade of W2, working my way out to my darkest shade of W7, and then I'm gonna be coming back down to my lightest shade. So in essence, I'm gonna be working lightest to darkest, darkest to lightest. Off camera, I really wanted to add some texture into my bunny. So for this, I went back in with those same warm gray markers, and I just gently touched the tip of my marker to my paper, creating tiny dots around the outside of my image. I like adding in this texture when I'm coloring in any type of animal. And here I'm just gonna be coloring in those cupcake wrappers that are off to the side. And I'm just gonna be using some cool gray markers for those. Once I finish coloring those all in, I'm then gonna show you how I did some paper piecing for the bunny in the back of my scene. 
I had originally colored in that bunny in a brown color combination, but I just didn't like it at all. I kept trying to fix it, but it just wasn't getting any better. And since I had already come so far in my card already, there was just no way I was going to start over. So what I did was I stamped that bunny again onto a scrap sheet of paper, and I colored him in as well as Fussy cut him out. Now the next step was I needed to fit him back into my scene, so I positioned him where he needed to be, and then using some post-it notes, I masked off my scene, and then I'm going to be stamping the top part of my cupcake image, as well as the front bunny directly on top of that colored image. That way I knew exactly where I needed to fussy cut him out, so that way I could paper piece him back into my scene, so it wouldn't be noticeable. Now that I have those lines stamped on my image, I'm just going to be using a pair of scissors to fussy cut along those same lines. And this step was definitely a little nerve wracking for me, but I just knew I wasn't going to be happy with my bunny being that brown color. And I really wanted to show you that you should really try to fix your mistakes instead of starting over. Because trust me, I constantly have mistakes when I'm creating cards, but that's why I honestly think that they made sequins. They truly do cover everything. Once I have him all cut out, I'm then going to be adding some liquid adhesive behind him, and then I'm going to be adhering him directly over that brown bunny. I think this is definitely the best decision that I made for my card, because you honestly can't even tell that it's there unless you run your finger across my card. Next, I'm going to be adding some balloons into my scene at the top part of my card. I really felt as though this area was just too plain, so I am going to be using two of the balloon images that are a part of the Penny the Platypus stamp set. And before I do any stamping, I'm going to make sure that I mask off each of the images that are near the top of my scene where I will be stamping those balloons in order to make sure that I don't make any mistakes. I am going to be stamping the first two balloons and then I'm going to mask them off and reposition those stamps onto my background panel, making sure that I overlap the images so that way it looks as though some of my balloons are in the front versus the ones that are behind. It's going to be the same thing I did with the rest of the images on my background. Once I have those last few balloons all stamped out, I'm then going to be peeling back each of those masks in order to reveal what I've created. I think adding the balloons definitely completes my scene. And I did color each of them off camera, and I colored them in a variety of bright colors in order to make them really pop from my background. Next, I'm going to be stamping my sentiment that's going to go inside of the sign that the bunny is holding. I'm going to be using two of the sentiments from the Hang In There stamp set, Well Crap, as well as This Stinks. I absolutely love this stamp set and I love the punny sentiments that are included. Next, I'm going to start working on assembling my card together. And I am going to be starting out by adhering my background down to my card base using some liquid adhesive. In my card base, I did trim and score out of some black colored cardstock in order to create a top folding square card base. Next, to finish off my card, I stamped two sentiments from the blah 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 stamp set using some Versamark ink onto some black colored cardstock and I did white heat emboss each of those sentiments. I used the banner dies from Honey Bee Stamps in order to cut them out, and I am going to be adhering them both down to my card using some foam adhesive. So once I get that last sentiment all adhered, that's going to complete my belated birthday scene card for today. I just love how this card came out, and if you haven't had a chance to create a scene card, I truly do encourage you to give it a try. I want to thank you all so much for stopping by and spending some time with me. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, as well as subscribe for even more card making ideas. If you are interested in any of the supplies I used today, they will all be listed and linked down below in the description box. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day and happy crafting!